troublemakers, freaks, free yes. agitators, fanatics, scallyway, mutants, scams, firebrands. What's going on, good people? I had to do some research on these numbers that everybody and their mama keep talking about when it comes to the American sweetheart, Caitlin Clark. Since you guys won't watch any of my other videos about my favorite WNBA players, Angel Reese and A.J. Wilson, you guys are going to get a heavy dose of Caitlin Clark. Just hear me out, numbers don't lie, but people do. Caitlin Clark's presence in the WNBA has significantly boosted attendance and viewership figures in the 2024 season. Despite not being selected for the Team USA women's basketball roster, her influence on the league is undeniable. Clark has caused attendance figures to jump by 87% compared to the average home attendance of her opponents, and she accounts for 33.5% of the total WNBA attendance this year. When Clark plays, WNBA games average 15,591 fans in attendance, which is a 105% increase compared to the 7 1,645 fans when she is not on the court. The Indiana Fever, Clark's team, averages 36% more fans on the road 15,142 than any other WNBA team, and this is only 13 games into the season. Even though Caitlin Clark was not chosen for the Team USA roster, her presence has dramatically affected ticket prices, viewership, and attendance. During the first month of the WNBA season, fans paid on average 241% more per ticket to watch Clark play compared to the next home game of their favorite team. This surge in interest hasn't stopped at ticket prices. The WNBA reports that overall attendance is up 156% compared to last year, with arenas being filled to 94% capacity. Over 600 Thousand fans have attended WNBA games in 2024, and viewership for nationally televised games has increased by 185%. To illustrate Clark's impact, the Fever have played six different teams on the road in the first month of the regular season, with five of those opponents setting season high attendance records due to Clark's games. The Washington Mystics set a benchmark with 20,300 fans in attendance, the highest for a WNBA game in 17 years. The New York Liberty generated over $2 million in gate revenue during Clark's visit to Madison Square Garden, setting a WNBA record for ticket revenue from a single game. On average, Fever opponents saw an 87.7% rise in attendance when Clark was playing compared to when she wasn't. The Washington Mystics experienced the largest jump at nearly 260%, while the LAA, Sparks, and Seattle Storm more than doubled their average attendance figures with Clark in town. When the Las Vegas Aces, who operate at max capacity nearly every home game, are excluded from the data, Clark's effect on attendance grows even more, with a 137% increase when she is on the floor. In just 13 games, Clark and the Fever have been responsible for 33.5% of the WNBA total attendance. Out of the 609,190 for fans attending WNBA games this season, 203,991 have come to watch Clark, making her a major draw for the league. The average attendance for a game featuring Clark is 15,691 fans, more than double the average attendance of 7,645 when she isn't playing. The Fever lead the WNBA in average attendance at home 16,571 and on the road 15,142, drawing 36% more fans on the road compared to the next highest team. Clark isn't the only rookie driving the league's increased popularity. The number two overall pick Cameron Brink and the Elf A Sparks draw an average of 11,104 fans on the road, while fellow rookie Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky attract an average of 10,365 fans on the road. Caitlin Clark's presence on the court has had a profound impact on WNBA attendance and viewership in 2024, 
demonstrating her immense value to the league and its fans. So there you have it, numbers don't lie. Yeah! They squabbling out there now!